Hi and welcome to the first video in my series on getting started with SketchUp Pro 2014. My name is Christian and in this video we're going to talk about the interface and navigation and some basic selection techniques. So let's go ahead and get started here. First, I want to draw your attention to the top of the screen. And we have two sections at the top of the screen here. First we have a file menu, right? And the second, we have a toolbar. And your toolbars that you have on your screen may look different than mine, and that's totally fine. We're going to be using the, the menus extensively in this, in this series. So I want you to get familiar with where they are, specifically the tools menu and the window menu. There's going to be a lot of work out of these two. The next I want to show you here, this, this middle space of, their, of your drawing, I'm going to be referring to as model space. This is where your drawing is going to be taking place. The next thing I want to show you is down at the bottom on the right here, and it says measurements, and we're going to be using this extensively. This is where you can key in individual measurements or individual calculations for your drawing, and it's uh, this is a very important section of the, of, the, of the interface, so please remember that and be aware of that. And kind of in conjunction with that, you'll notice here we have, oops, pardon, we have this description of of the oh, did it again this description of your your currently selected tool so right now you can see we've got this um, arrow selected here which is up here on your toolbar and it says we can select objects we can shift to extend our selection we can drag drag the mouse to select multiple and this kind of breaks into selection so i'm going to go ahead and and draw a couple objects here really quick just a few rectangles here. And I can, you can press the space bar to, to dump whatever tool you have on your, on your selection right now. So for example, I, I had rectangles selected, and if you press space, it jumps you back to the, to the arrow. Now, there is a difference between a, a left-dragging mouse click and a right-dragging mouse click. And I want to show you here kind of how that works. With a left dragging mouse click, anything that it touches gets selected. Whereas with a right dragging mouse click, only things that are completely included are selected. If that makes sense. So in a lot of ways, it's like AutoCAD, if you've ever used AutoCAD. The next thing I want to show you here about selection is how to select individual objects. Now, we're going to talk more about the basics of geometry in the next video. But suffice it to say that every object is composed of lines and planes. Those are the two fundamental units in, in SketchUp. So right now you can see I've selected a plane. And if you click on one of the sides, you can see I've collected, selected the line. It turns blue. If you want to select everything all at once, if you want to select everything, if you double click on it, you'll get the object itself. Now, this is a little, uh, it can be a little bit misleading, and we're going to talk about some exceptions to that later on in other videos. But for right now, be aware that if you want to select an object, you can double click on it and you can get that object. Let's go ahead and talk about navigation really quick. The navigation is the process of getting around your drawing. So you can see here we're on a top view, and we're going to start with, with it's called orbiting around your drawing. And that's done by holding down the, the middle wheel button on your mouse and clicking and dragging. And that will let you orbit around your drawing. You'll notice here that my vertical axis, my blue axis is what they call it in, in SketchUp, because the axis itself is blue, stays in a single spot. It's, it's, it, it doesn't move at all whereas my green axis and my red axis all move. Incidentally, this point here where they all intercept is your, your point of origin here. So if you're familiar with drawing in, um, in the positive quadrant of your origin, that would be over here. Next, let's talk about panning. Panning is done effectively the same way as orbiting, right? This is orbiting, except instead of just clicking and dragging with your middle uh, your scroll wheel, you hold down the shift button on your keyboard and then you can click and drag and it'll pull stuff around and that will be um, your, your panning right there. And you can do the two functionally, um, you can chain the two, the two commands. So right now I'm holding down the scroll wheel. I'm not letting go of the scroll wheel, but I'll hold down the shift key 
and I'll be able to, to pull the drawing around a little bit and pan it as I want it. So let's go ahead and pull this back kind of the center of the screen, screen here. The last, the last variant I want to show you here on, on this orbiting panning technique is it's kind of a free orbit. So right now we're constrained. We have, we have this constraint placed on our vertical axis, on our, our blue axis uh, when, you, when you go to orbit. We can actually take that constraint off so you can, you can have this tilt any way that you'd like. And you can do that by holding down the control key rather than the shift key and middle clicking on your scroll wheel and pulling it the direction that you'd like it to, to, to orbit. And you'll notice if you let go of that, oh, I just flipped my axes upside down, flip that back right side up. Um, if you let go of that and you click and drag, you will, uh, it, will it will snap back to, to uh, a 90 degree angle. So, so that's navigation in a nutshell. We've got the ability to orbit, we've got the ability to pan, and we've got the ability to free orbit. So by this point, you should be able to get around the interface fairly well. You should understand where the file menu is, where the tool palettes are, how to be able to key in measurements, and how to be able to get some brief, brief descriptions of what you can do with your current tools. You should be able to select objects and understand the difference between a left dragging and a right dragging selection. And you should be able to double click on an object and get the whole thing in one selection or triple click on it if it's a, if it's a larger object. And you should be able to navigate. You should be able to orbit, pan, and free orbit. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you. If you thought this video was great, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and share it. If you thought this video was fantastic, go ahead and subscribe. I'll bring you more of them. And I will see you in the next video.